Hey guys, welcome to Bond with you guys. We'll be reacting to why are the prophets guys. This is hard for me to pronounce, but I will just why the prophet Muhammad married Aisha at a very short age. But I can't really pronounce that. So guys, let's get straight into this. Muhsin says, non-believers mostly ask this question. Why did your prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, marry Aisha when she was just a child? How do we respond to them? First of all, you do not have to respond to every question that you're asked. If someone asks you an inappropriate question, would you answer him? So if someone asks you about a previous sin, did you ever try champagne? Have you ever gone out with a woman and fornicated? And you say, oh, astaghfirullah, I can't lie. Okay, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. No, you don't answer such questions. Now, if the person asking this question is someone who's objective, who's fair, who's just, who's interested in learning about Islam, no problem in answering him. If he is someone who's just trying to tarnish the reputation of Islam, trying to cast doubt in your mind, avoid him and do not pay any attention to him. But seriously, Sheikh, come on. Why did the Prophet, when he was like 53 years of age, marry a child of nine years of age? This is unheard of. Wait and don't fall into Satan's trap. Gather information, do your homework, make a research to understand the circumstances. Then you can answer this inshallah, with clarity and transparency. First of all, the Prophet was 53 years of age when he married Aisha. Was he married before that? Yes, he was married when he was 25 years of age. For a quarter of a century, he married a woman who was 15 years older than him. So he married a woman of 40 when he was 25 and remained married to her until she died when she was 65 years of age. This isn't the track record of a womanizer. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Muhammad. This is the track record of a decent man. In the prom of his youth, being satisfied and content with an older woman for 25 years, definitely this man is a decent person. Okay, Sheikh, but again, why did he marry this child? After she died, that is Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, he married a woman his age, Saud bin Zam'ah. She was also 50 plus years of age because she's a, she was a widowed and she was alone and he wanted to counsel her by marrying her. And Aisha, by the way, before the Prophet proposed to her, already Jubair ibn Mat'am ibn Adi, may Allah be pleased with him, his father proposed to Abu Bakr for his son. So he, he proposed to Aisha to get married to his son, Jubair. But when Abu Bakr declined, then the Prophet Hassan proposed. Why did the Prophet propose, Hassan? Because Allah ordered him to marry her in a revelation. And he saw her picture twice brought to him by Jibreel. Why did he marry Aisha? Because she was the daughter of his lifetime friend, his best friend, Abu Bakr. And they wanted to strengthen the bond. 
So he married her. But again, why at this young age? This is the norm. At the time of the Prophet ﷺ, this is the age that girls got married in. Don't judge their era with the standards we have today. In Kyrgyzstan today, the average age of marriage is from 10 to 13. In Mexico, in some states, the, av the, the age of marriage is 14, and in some it's 18. Even the idol worshippers, the Jews, the Christians, for 13 centuries, no one had ever spoken about why is he or was he married to such a young girl? Because this was, was normal. Umar ibn Khattab, who was like in his 60s, married his friend's daughter, the daughter of Ali, who was a child of 11 or 12 years of age. That was the norm. Abu Bakr, when his daughter, Hafs, uh, Umar himself, his daughter Hafsa, when, she, when her husband died, he went to Abu Bakr, who was way older than he, him himself, telling him or asking him to marry his daughter. So this was the norm. And if you are objective, you will find that the Prophet ﷺ married a young girl, married an old woman, married a widowed, married uh, the daughter of his fierce enemy, Abu Sufyan, married the daughter of a Jew, married different types and arrays of women to collect and combine and join the community and the society. And he married her because of her wit and intelligence and intellect. He knew that she would teach his ummah, which actually happened, the affairs of her religion. So this is in a summary why he married her. May Allah be pleased with her. Guys, to be honest, I wouldn't say what he said was offensive, but we'll let it slide. But why is he gonna call Christians idol worshippers? But that is not the purpose of the video. But I kind of understand where he's coming from. Him saying, like, to me, when he said God said he should marry her, fine. Because if what God said you should do, no should actually so you shouldn't. And we practice something that we believe in faith. So. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. I don't want to talk more, so I should not talk about the idol worship of power, but I'll see you next time, guys.